Great. Awesome. Well, welcome everyone. It is Tuesday, March 29th. My name's Heidi Biggs, and I am going to be doing a training for you called, we're calling it Instagram Basics. I'm going to share my screen and share the thing. Yeah, in just a minute. <laughs> Move that out the way. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to be going back and forth just to give you a bit of a heads up. I'm going to be going back and forth, showing you some slides and also my phone so that you get to get a good idea of, of what is, is going on. Okay. So, and you're just going to have to say it like this because I don't know how to do it any other way. <laughs> It totally froze up. Yeah, it froze on my end too. Yeah, I think it's Heidi. Yeah. She's frozen. <laughs> well, that's a cute picture. It is. <laughs> I wonder if somebody needs to text her to let her know she's frozen. <laughs> I will. I'll text her right now. See, you are frozen. Oh, well, obviously she logged out. <laughs> now she's gonna log back in. Well, no, I still see her on there. I'm here. <laughs> and, you know, internet, gotta love internet, right? <laughs> okay, I don't know what you heard, but basically the whole point of this training is to really attract more people, get, you, get them to buy from you on Instagram. And I just want to ask everyone, if you have any questions, Please save them for the end and um, I'll do my best to answer them. And I may not know the answer, but we'll find it for you. All right, so let's get started. So I wanna first start by saying I am not an Instagram expert, but I do follow the experts and learn from them. And that's how come I've come up with this so that I can share it with you and, um, and help you. And this is very basic stuff that I'm gonna be sharing today, but it's really important to have a, a Instagram profile that's got that wow factor. So I'd love everyone to open up the Instagram app right now. Um, I'm going to share my phone with you guys. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right, so here we are on Instagram and there's my beautiful friend, Margie. So what I'd really love for you to do right now is if you already have an Instagram app and you've already signed up, that's great. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just download the app and um, sign in and all that great stuff. Now, once you are signed in, what I would love for you all to do is to go to the bottom right of the, of the um, page right here on your phone and just touch that photo of your profile and up's gonna come your profile. Now, um, we're going to start with your profile. And when it comes to our profile, there are some things that are very worth considering. And that is our profile picture and the type of account that you have, your bio and your target market. So let's start with the type of the account. So the experts that I listen to are Shalene and Brock Johnson. I know some of you are familiar with them on this call. And they suggest choosing either a business account or a creator account. Now, the benefits of these types of accounts is basically that you will have access to more tools and resources like extra music, um, analytics, statistics, boosts, and you can also create ads if you have a business or a creator account. Um, also, when it comes to like extra music, um, one good thing to know is that if you do have a business account, you are limited due to copywriting issues and the promotion that you wanna do with your business. You're not always, a, um, you don't want always have access to all of the music that's available. But with a creator account, there's no loophole there. So you can totally have, um, you'll get more uh, music. 
So at the very least, you don't have to have a business account. You don't have to have a creator account. But at the very, very least, it's really important to make sure that your, your um, account is public. Because if it's not public and it's private, it's basically going to be like having a lemonade stand in a cul-de-sac where you're going to be selling to your five neighbors. And that's it right or being sitting in the closet with the door closed like you're not going to grow your business with the door shut or limiting yourself so what this is going to do is broaden your um horizons it's going to basically well you you have access to the world and the world has access to you but not all of you oh there's, there we go mirroring socks again okay here we go okay so let's see my, so my, here, here you can see my screen. Um, now I want you to go, it's, can you see the top right hand corner? There is, can you, can you see that? The top right hand corner, there's three lines and they're called, they're, can you see them on the top right of the yes. screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that's, that's what's called the hamburger lines. And this is where you basically are gonna be able to, um, have access to a lot of different things. And we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole, but what we are gonna do is click those three lines right now. And then you're gonna go, you see settings at the top, you're gonna to click settings. And then if you look down, you'll see account. So then you're gonna click account. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see it says switch account type. Now, if you just have a regular personal account, this is where you're gonna to switch to um, the, either the creator or the business. And if you, are, if you have one account and you want a second account, just say you wanna have an account that's just for you, it's just your personal stuff and you wanna keep that private, then set up another account and you can have up to like five different accounts, just so you know. And you can add a new professional account and then you get to choose whether you want to be a creator or a business account. Now, mine is already this, so I'm not going to change any of mine, um, but I can show you if I switch to personal account or business account because I'm already creator. They're the only options that I get. So is creator better than business or is business better than creator? Creator is better than business if you want access to all the music for your reels. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Heidi, sorry, I know you don't want questions, but real quickly, mine doesn't have a creator option. It just says switch to professional account or add new professional account. And maybe you're already a creator. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and who is that speaking? I can't see. Liz Smith, sorry. Oh, hi. Hi, Liz. Hi. Yeah, maybe you already have a creator account. I'm going to show you how to do something else in, um, in, with that in a moment. But yeah, we can save the questions for the end. That would be awesome. Okay. So now we're gonna click back the back arrow and we're gonna go, I'm trying to show you my phone, you can already see it. So we're gonna click the back arrow back to the profile. And now the next thing we're gonna do is your photo. Now, I'm gonna show a slide. Let me share. Okay, so you now see this, right? So here I'm going to show you some examples of slides that um, okay yeah so now you can see the slides that I want to share these these please feel free to take any photos of these slides by the way can you see all these beautiful faces up here give me a thumbs up if you can awesome so your photo is basically the best and most appealing and attractive to your audience and you follow your followers will follow you when they see a face that's close up you're more personable you're more attractive to them and yeah looks on everything but in instagram your look is is appealing and people are going to be attracted to that so you want to make sure it's close up it's bright and it's simple and this is going to make make it so easy for people to identify you as well um, so feel free to take a screenshot of this, take a photo of this. And also when you go back, you can go back and pause this video, watch it at any time and pause this and take notes and follow along as well. Okay. So one of the things on this that, that I want to um, point out is photo room. Now I'm not expecting you to download that app right now. You can, again, you can do it at a later, later time, but this app is going to give you these amazing bright backgrounds. 
ones that you see. The only person in this in these five photos that you don't see that has that background is my friend Margie in the top in the middle. Her background though is still stunning because it's clean. It's, it's pretty much one color apart from the sky in the background, but that green against her dark hair and her, her white blouse looks really, really pretty. And the reason for a, a background that's either dark or solid is that it really just then helps you just stand out that much more. Now, another way to do this is using Canva. Um, I've never done this. I'm not gonna show you how to do this. You can YouTube that to figure it out. But what you can do is remove, when you take a screenshot or do a headshot, you can then remove the busy background and then put a plain background, background behind it. Again, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but you definitely wanna keep the background simple and kind of like a block color. If you have like lots of things going on in the background, it's gonna distract from your beautiful face in that photograph. Okay, now we're gonna share back to the phone. Okay. Okay, back to the phone. So now let's look at your name. So now we're gonna look at your username. Does it have your name in it? And if it doesn't, I'm gonna encourage you to do so. And the reason for having your name in your profile is so that people can search for you. And also that anyone that is gonna be following you, they're following you because of you. So you are your brand at the end of the day. Yeah, you sell Juice Plus, we all do, right? Um, but you're also very often in your Instagram, you're sharing your, you're representing your favorite things, you're sharing recipes, your beliefs, you know, all of that kind of thing. And so um, if you're, and another thing, if your name is already taken, then you can actually get around that by using the word official. You see a lot of celebrities do that. You can put an underscore in there. You can use an emoji or a little dash or something or a number. But at the very least, you need your name, need your name in there somewhere. So mine is Heidi Loves Healthy. And I chose mine organically because one, I lead with my heart and I love all things healthy. So Heidi Loves Healthy was just a very simple and natural fit. So as you kind of figure this out, what is your niche? Think about what is your niche and what is it that you love? And then incorporate that into your username. The way you change your username is to go to edit profile. So we're gonna click on edit profile right now. And then in the username underneath where it says my name, that's what you're gonna change and that's how people can search you, okay? Now, again, I'm not expecting you all to do this right now, but if you have the time, you've got quick thumbs, <laughs> go ahead. Um, but you will have this recording to, do, to watch again. Next, we're gonna optimize your bio with, um, and I'm gonna do another new share with a slide. And here we optimize your bio. You can see that I've used an example here with Brock Johnson. Brock Johnson is the guy, him and his mom, Shalene Johnson, they're the people that I follow. And um, I actually have joined this Insta Club Hub. Now, this is a general business or creator bio template that I actually got from them to help me with um, give you this presentation. And first of all, you want to start with making sure that you have a good mission or tagline. So for example, mine says, I help you eat more fruits and veggies to optimize your health with delicious recipes. And I just changed that recently because after watching this training that I, I did in the Insta Club Hub. And what I realized was I was getting a lot of engagement with the recipes of my reels that I've been sharing lately. And so it made sense to me to add the recipes part in there um, because most of the recipes that I'm sharing are super healthy. They're, they're all, most well, most of them from now on are gonna be shred 10 recipes, right? Okay, and then um, credibility. So you can see Brock Johnson here, I help entrepreneurs and creators with organic Instagram growth. So he helps entrepreneurs and creators, and if you have a slow Instagram growing, he's gonna help you with that. And how, what is his credibility? He helped, he got 300,000 followers in just eight months. And I can tell you exactly how he did that. He did reels consistently. And that's how he grew that following. He did reels, two reels a day for all of those months. 
So that's his expertise on credibility. I put global speaker and some people might question that, but I've, sp I've spoke on a stage in England and I've, I've done videos. I've spoken on Zoom calls that have been recorded that have been shared in other countries. So I can call myself a global speaker because of that. Um, call to action. He has Instagram coaching with the arrows and, and then his website right there. Um, I have, for a free cookbook, send me a DM. So you can switch and change that to whatever it is that you would, you would rather do. And then the, my custom domain, you can, I would not put your Juice Plus website there, like he's put instaclubhub.com. I wouldn't, that's not the place for your Juice Plus website. However, Linktree or Milkshake is. I have Milkshake. I know other people prefer Linktree. I'm just a very visual person and I like pretty things being an artist as well. And Milkshake's just that little bit prettier for me. But some people like more simple and more direct and Linktree is that for them. So again, I'm gonna keep rep repeating this. I'm not expecting you to, to do all this now, but over time and watching this video, you can do that. Lastly, I really wanna share the difference and show you where you can um, do the posts and all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna share, share the difference between a post, a reel and a story. Unable to connect, there we go, okay. So here we have, so the difference between a post, a reel and a story. A post is really what's going to, I'm gonna show you here, post is what you see right here. And the post is really what's gonna grab new followers. That's what's gonna attract new followers. They're gonna to relate to what you're posting and then they're gonna follow you. A reel, kind of the same. A reel, but it's just a really short video that is um, used to educate or to make someone laugh or to make someone feel good about themselves. This is where you're really kind of sharing what your niche is and your post as well is also your niche. Now your story, most people don't know this, but your story is not for new people. New people will not see your story. The only people that will see your story are the people that are already following, uh, that are already following you. So um, if you think that you're gonna share stuff like that and you're gonna get some new people ordering, you might if you haven't had an interaction with them and they follow you, but it, you're not gonna get new followers from your stories. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So next we're gonna, I'm gonna show you quickly if you're, if this is your first time now, I know a lot of you are really averse with um, Instagram. So this isn't for you. This is for the people that really aren't that sure. This is where you go to add a reel or a post or a story or a live. And you click the plus button at the top of the page next to your username. So you touch that and here's where you get to choose to do a post, a reel, a story, and a story highlight. You also can go live. Instagram lives are great. I've actually done a couple of interviews with Leanne Schweitzer and um, Ashley Silveri, which were really, really fun. You're welcome to go back and watch those um, and share them or tag people. If you wanna hear some, someone hear those stories and hear those answers, tag them in there. Um, I'm not familiar with, I haven't touched on the guides or the fundraisers, so we're not going to go there yet, but let's do a post real quick. So um, what should we post about? Actually, let's not do a post, let's do a story. Okay, so um, I found this today on Facebook, and this is about the Shred 10. So I'm gonna post here and I'm gonna add it. So you just literally touch on the photograph and then up here you have um, branded content. We're not branded, so we're not gonna do that. We have text, so I can write anything that I want to on here. I usually recommend you if you're, and you can choose different fonts along here. You can also, I'm gonna type something right now. I'm not gonna post this. Now, if you wanted, if you didn't want the white background on that, you just wanted the black, up here on the A++ sign, 
you're going to just touch that and you can scroll that up if you want to change the color on that you then just tap where it says free again and you see the color wheel at the top touch the color wheel and you can choose whatever color that you want and it will change that color right there now i'm going to delete that and the way you delete that is you touch on it and you drag it and you, well, first of all, you can just delete those words or you can drag that all the way down to the bottom and you see that little dustpan, there it goes, it's gone. So next to that, we have a little sticker with a little smiley face. We're gonna to touch on that. Now here, this is where it gets really fun. You can put in your location, you can mention someone else, you can add your photograph, you can do an avatar. What I love is the GIFs and the polls and the link, you can even add a link where um, that is more of an advanced thing, but you can actually add your website into that link. Um, we're not gonna do that, but what we are gonna do is a poll. So I'm gonna click on poll, and the question I'm, I'm gonna ask is, are you familiar with the shred 10? I'm gonna change the color of that to black, and then I'm, here's the cool part. You can touch that and then you can put yes or no. You can even change this, by the way. You can even put yes, I love it. Or no, send more info. <laughs> I think my thumbs are a little big for this. And then the cool thing is you can touch that and drag it down to wherever you want. I'm gonna drag it right there. And then I'm gonna pinch with two fingers. I'm pinching this and I can shrink it. I can make it big. Here's a trick not a lot of people know. If you drag it just slightly to the right, when people swipe right, they're automatically gonna pretty much tap on that. <laughs> so they'll, then they usually have to answer. It's a cool trick I learned. Um, so I'm gonna drag that a little more to the right as well. Okay, maybe it doesn't. All right, and then at the bottom, you can you have the choice to actually, it says your stories or close friends. You never wanna do close friends, just always do you know your stories. But if you click the arrow, so I'm automatically linked up to my Facebook. So my stories will automatically share from Instagram to Facebook, I don't have to do a thing. But if I did just want to do it on Facebook, and this is why I'm only going to do this on Instagram, sorry. So where it says your story, I'm going to uncheck that box and turn off once. And the reason why I'm doing this is because then I'm going to go back to Facebook. I'm going to recreate the same exact story on Facebook. You can share your stories to Facebook, no problem. But if you have a poll, if someone goes on Facebook and they go to vote on your poll, they won't be able to do anything to it. So that's why you, when you have a poll or anything like that, you definitely want to share it separately. And that's it. Done. So that's all I'm going to do tonight. We are at 6.30 and we did want to make sure this was a, a very basic training. We will be doing an advanced training um, in a, at another time. But if anyone has any questions, I'm going to encourage you another little um, snippet of information. If you go to the reactions at the bottom of your screen and click raise hand, um, that'll tell me that I know that you have a, a question. And then once you ask the question, you can just click that again and lower, lower your hand. So I do see, let me see what questions we have in the, in the chat. Okay. Okay, DM Crystal is direct message. So people can send you direct messages in Instagram. If, um, let me show you. Actually, I think Crystal left. <laughs> Crystal's not even here anymore. I, I answered her in the chat earlier. Oh, so. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, Nancy, I don't have the icons at the top for adding text or anything. I have updated in my app and my account says I'm a creator. I've never been able to get those icons. Is that um, on stories? Is that what you're talking about, Nancy? 
You'll need to unmute yourself. Yes. Yes. Um, on anything in Instagram, I can't add any text. Um, so if I went to add tools, I was just in the, oh no, at the top. I did say story yeah. and my, I'll just pick a picture. Uh huh. Now I have it. <laughs> I was there in there before and I had, I had um, uploaded, well, no, wait, didn't you say we weren't doing a story? You were doing a post. That was a story. Okay. I originally was going to do a post, but I changed my mind to do a story. Oh, okay. Okay. So now I do have that. I do. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank no, you. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm sure that helps someone. Um, okay. Barry says, how much time a day or week do you do Instagram versus Facebook? Every day, both of them, every day, the same amount, pretty much. Um, most of the, I would say most of the time I do Instagram, I would say, but I, yeah, I usually share most things to, to Facebook as well. Um, and Elizabeth, looks like you have a question. Yeah, I just trying to, and I'm, I use Instagram quite a bit, but I'm new to reels and I'm, I'm trying to understand what is the, what is really the main difference between like a reel and just a video? Like what's the big hurrah? I'm not getting it. The cool thing about reels is that you can like put lots of snippets of video together. Okay. And it's really short. People have, people these days are so busy. Yeah. that they don't want to like be watching a super long video so to be able to they're usually like a minute or less uh -huh. so in order to you know it's so great to be able to watch someone make a recipe you know and see it in a minute or less or even 30 seconds or less and see if they're going to like it or not and then decide whether they want to save that um, so on that note real quick i was watching yours today on making the banana bread how do you now that i'm thinking about it how do you get the words to come up as you're talking you know, like I see a lot of people do that. Yeah. This is more of an advanced training, but I will show you real quickly. Okay. Um, <laughs> but we are going to go and there is a reels training that Leanne did as well. Um, so you can go back and watch that if you haven't already. Okay. Um, so when you, I'm actually going to do one and save it as a draft, but I'm not going to do the whole thing right now. Okay. So here we go. We go to real. Mm -hmm. So I just did, and I, cause I haven't finished the complete recipe. So I just did some step-by-step -step of a recipe that I'm making and it's the minus the carrots. <laughs> this is the, um, uh, lentil shepherd's pie from the shred 10 cookbook. So you went ahead before and did a bunch of your own little recordings. Yeah. And I do all of these record. The, the trick is to do them on your phone first. Yeah. Okay. Rather than just going to Instagram and then recording it. Now, if you've got one of those fun ones where you're lip syncing to it, I'm not very good at those. So I prefer to do this anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but for this, what I did for the banana bread and what I do, what I will do for this one is I'm, you know, going to click at the top right. You'll see that there's two like squares kind of on top of each other. I'm going to touch that. And then that enables me to just automatically click multiple videos at the same time. Uh -huh. Now I am gonna go back and completely edit this because mm -hmm. there were, um, see, I'm also over on that one. So I'm gonna um, delete that one, add that one, delete that one, add that one, add that. And then, yeah, I'm gonna have to edit some of these videos before I do this because they're too long mm -hmm. for the um, that only gives you a certain amount of time. A minute is the maximum. So what you do is you go next, you choose like, for example, it, it actually gives you suggested audio. You can hear, but I'm gonna skip that. And I, oh, I, not, I chose it, <laughs> audio. Um, delete. So I'm gonna go to, audio and then you can choose an audio like that maybe i'll choose that audio and then when you click, click done, 
and you go back to um, you go click sorry you click next and then you click audio at the top and you can do a voiceover so that's what I did what you're hearing is my actual voice explaining the recipe and I'm going to do the same with this as well so you record the voiceover so I'm just going to do it part way through um, so then you tap or hold this. Okay, so here we are boiling potatoes, sauteing some onions, some mushrooms, some garlic with some thyme. Got two teaspoons of thyme, saute that. Then I'm gonna add some green lentils, some tomato sauce and vegetable broth. Just give that a good stir, simmer that for 35 minutes until the green lentils are nice and soft. And then you're gonna add in, okay, that's all I'm gonna get to right now. So that's done. Now, okay, so here we are boiling potatoes, sauteing some onions, some mushrooms, some garlic. Turn that down. So now you're gonna, you can see there's the camera audio, which is on zero. We have the solitude, the song wiped by Billie Holiday, and my voice. We're gonna bring this video, the solitude, right down to like 15. So it's there in the background. And if it's a trending music right now, it's gonna get more traction. And then my voice okay, is really so what you're going to hear most of that. So that's done. I'm going to click done. And then if you click at the very top, that sticker that has the poll and everything, you can see the word captions. Yeah. I click captions. Now it transcribes my voice. And this is how you get those captions. Okay. Super, super easy. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I learned something new. That is amazing. Then <laughs> and I'm going to go back. I'm not actually, I'm going to stop share because I'm not going to, I'm not going to post that. I, like I said, I've got to edit some of those videos first to make them a little bit shorter. And then, yeah. And I do, I share at least one reel a day or one post a day, multiple stories. Um, yeah, that's usually what I do. Today, I've been busy with this presentation. And so I haven't posted as much, but. At the end of the day, I will. Do you post the same content on, um, I know that you share kind of back and forth, but is everything shared like the same or do you do some different things? Not always, no, sometimes I do different things. Yeah, yeah. So for example, right now, my friend tagged me in um, a post to share my artwork for 10, to 10, for 10 days and then tag someone else to, for them to share their artwork for 10 days. So really that right now, that's like my focus. But if I wanted to post something else, I can, like you're not limited. I would actually encourage people posting two or three times a day on their, on their profile. So yeah, okay. Well, and unless anyone else has any burning questions, we are way over on timing. So <laughs> we really should stop, probably should stop the recording, Lisa, but I hope everyone's found that really helpful and useful. And, Again, you can go back at any 